This is Mrs. Pooja Shirke. Hello students. Welcome to the English class. Standard SYJC. Today, we start the class and we proceed further with the next chapter on saying please 1.2 on saying please this particular text is written by a g garnier gardenier that is alfred george gardenier 1865 to 1946 introduction this unit deals with one of the essays by a g gardenier on saying please you will get a detailed synopsis of the essay in this unit over the above unit aims to acquaint you with the themes that forms a crucial part of the essay beside this the unit also tells you about the technique style and language used by gardenier in this essay students now listen to the summary of this lesson which is an essay form on saying please by ag gardenier in this text A. G. Gardiner tells us about the two incidents. One incident is about a lifts man bad manners, and another incident is about a bus conductor's good manners. First, we will see about the lift man. One day, a lift man throws a passenger out of the lift. Reason is the man who entered the lift just had talk. and did not say please so the lift man felt insulted and thought that this man does not deserve to come in the lift and he has insulted him because he is just a lift man a person who is inferior to his position and so out of his anger he threw the man outside now student we should understand that for this only the lift man would be punished by law because we cannot say that the man who entered the lift did not say please because this courtesy is not a legal offense suppose in case imagine the thief is coming to your house and you assaulted the thief just because he came to your house you can you are only the person who will be punished by the law but in the case if the thief has attacked you and in defense if you have attacked back the thief then the law will not punish you so the law is like that and the law is reasonable because law cannot punish anyone for their bad manners or bad dressing sense or for anything which is personal because it is allowed according to the law that the law is not giving you a permission but at the same time it does not punish you also at that the same time we cannot get irritated with the other people's manners behavior or dressing sense or the irritating behavior and all that because if in case if we are going to show our anger by raising our fist then there will be only blood all over the country so here i show you the first page so what we have to do is we have to know how to behave even when others are being ill mannered towards us now students we have to understand that we also have to see to it that this impoliteness or ill mannerism of one person 
does not affect us because it is an infection when someone's ill mannerism affect us we will become ill tempered and we will show our anger on others too now we we'll take the second page of this lesson now he says that we all he says that of course we all will sympathize the lift man because even though he is a lift man and he also has his own self respect and we should also imagine what he will do if he had not pushed the lift man out he will have the feeling that he has been insulted and definitely when he will go back to his house he will certainly pour out his anger on his wife because bad tempered and bad manners are infectious he also states an important incident where sir anthony absolute bullied his captain absolute and because captain absolute could not say anything to sir anthony absolute who is his senior he went and he bullied his man fag and this man fag could not show any anger towards his senior so he went and kicked his page boy so we can understand that from superior level how the temper is been passed on to the people who are below them and at the same time we should also have to understand that maybe the man who entered into the lift he would have been insulted by his employee who did not wish him back or insulted by a cook and maybe that cook have been insulted by the housemaid who back answered him so students you see the law could be the guardian of the manners i repeat students that the law could be the guardian of manners therefore we should understand one thing that words like please thank you will make our life also run sweetly now we move on to the next page the second incident that the writer narrates is about a polite conductor the general view point is conductors looks at passenger as enemies but here this particular conductor is one person who was very very good mannered he was kind full of understanding naturally courteous and his good manners were also highly infectious unlike bad manners even good manners can be infectious and if we will make you happy and it will make you happy and you will spread happiness around you and narrator see this man and say that he remembers when he saw the conductor for the first time once when the narrator got into the bus only after entering the bus he looked into his pocket he found that he had no money with which means he had left his purse at home so he went to the conductor and explained this his inconvenience to buy the ticket and therefore would like to get down and therefore would like to get down the bus but the conductor comforted him by saying that it was all okay instead asked him about his place where he had to go and gave him the ticket and the narrator felt very embarrassed because he had never experienced such a kind gesture from anyone before at the same time the passenger insisted on when should he meet him again to repay the ticket money the conductor answered that next time when he would happen to see him that time he could repay him
So students, here the narrator felt very good because the conductor treated him so well and not insulted him or did not show any expression of disgust on face. Moreover, had given the ticket also to him. Further, the narrator on searching his pockets fortunately finds a shilling so he can get the ticket of his own. But next time what happened is the same bus when the narrator was travelling someone stamped on his feet. Someone stamped on his foot harshly and he was so angry and wanted to shout at the person. But then he saw this conductor. For he could say anything, the conductor immediately apologized saying, Did I hurt you sir? I am very sorry. I trampled on your foot. And the way he said was so very courteous that the narrator, a G. Gardiner, told that, No, you did not hurt me, though he was being actually hurt. And he said that the conductor was so good that you could not hurt him. His goodness also spread unto you. And then he stayed the example of Kitts. Kitts had said nothing. Kitts had said nothing clears up spirit like a fine day. So a fine day makes you feel so good and so happy. And also he mentions the example of Wordsworth who says that he gathered some wisdom from a poor leech gatherer. So he say when even from an ordinary person we can learn so many good things which can help us to live a very beautiful life. Next he also tells the example from Chesterfield. One day Chesterfield was walking in the road and seeing for the dry patches as there were no pavements in London. He came opposite another person from the other way and that man said the, that he will not give way to scoundrels. Immediately Chesterfield said but I will give place and he moved away. In this way Chesterfield was very courteous where that man could not say anything. At the same time, he made him realize himself that he himself is a scoundrel and not Chesterfield. So students, here we complete with the text explanation. Overall, the message given through this text is According to A. G. Gardiner, if the lift man insist, instead of getting offended by the passenger who got into the lift, if he had treated him more politely, that itself would have been a giving back to him. It would have made the other person very bad for his behavior. So, how we can really give back to the people who are not polite to us is treating them with much more politeness they would expect from us. This is how A. G. Gardiner ends the essay and he says that if we lose our temper then we are going to spread bad temper all around us and will spoil our day. But if we are going to be happy and well mannered we will spread that around us. I hope this essay is easy to understand. If you have to add on, please drop in your suggestions. Thank you. Have a nice day.